Hey guys, Rocket Girl just came back after a long absence. I really like this series. I didn't uh, back the Kickstarter because I didn't know the, about it when Kickstarter was going on. But it's really fun. It's about a young girl who's um, in her teenage years from the New York Teen Police Department of an alternative future 2013. The idea being that it's a 2013 as imagined by people in the 1980s. That it's it's super advanced, and all the you know teenagers have all these cool roles. She goes back in time to stop this the super corporation from taking over. And apparently, the super corporation it, it's a, it has an interesting moral premise. Uh, apparently, they're the reason why the future is so great. They come out with all this really advanced tech that changes everything uh, makes the future wonderful they got their tech in the 1980s sent back from 2013 so it's a predestination paradox and she decides because they're breaking some kind of obscure rule that she's going to go back and she's going to stop them from breaking this rule it's it's a really cool concept uh, it, it's visually very cool. It's just like this, I think, I want to say a 14-year-old girl with her jetpack telling everybody what they can do and what they can't do. You know, she's the New York Teen Police Department. And she goes back to the 80s, but now she's stuck in the 80s. And she stopped the formation of the company. So it's, it's, a very, it, it's very fresh, very new. Beautiful art. The art is always... It comes off the page that the colors are dynamic, the the people are expressive and, and interesting, the, the layouts are great. Amy Reader, you are a art goddess. Uh, seriously, this is amazing. Forever and always. The, the, the instant classic. If you like really good visual stuff, this is for you. Now, specifically, this is the sixth issue it just came out and what happens in this issue is they they kind of show her trying to adjust to life in 1986 and you know they want her to go to school but in the future kids don't go to school they they get to have jobs really early on not like child labor like coal mines but like they get careers and responsibility and respect they're not warehoused, which I think is kind of cool. It's um, and there's there's a few things that go on in here. One of the cops came from the future, not cops, cops, but security from the company that are trying to to get her before she can cause any temporal problems. Apparently, they haven't quite revealed all of it yet, and he's met up with his past self. And now they're going to go and try to get her together. Apparently, Rocket Girl has met her mother from this time. They haven't quite let on. And they also revealed in this issue why De Young, that's her name, is such a stickler for the rules. It's because she had this, this interaction with a pimp in the future where she tried to arrest him. And the, it wasn't quite by the by the book, and what she took away from that was, from now on, we're always by the book. And in the future, there's like this, you know, like this 16-year-old kid who's investigating her. And, <laughs> I mean, it's just, it's a lot of fun. So the, the issue ends with them looking up her old partner. So it, it's a it's a really good book. It's a lot of fun. If you're looking for a interesting book, a a book with not a lot of violence. It, it's very low violence, but I still enjoy it. It's a good adventure. You know, they don't get into weird interpersonal relationships. I don't even know how she fights. Really, to tell you the truth, it's not like she has pistols or something. It's just like she flies around and. She has adventures that way. If you're looking for uh, an interesting feminine protagonist who's still feminine, 
if you're looking for great art, uh, all of those are reasons to pick up this book. Uh, please give this a chance. When, when artists and writers come together and make works of art like this, they deserve people to look at it. And, they, and that's the problem. Nobody's, you know, it, it, nobody will even look at these kind of things because it's not it doesn't have the big Marvel or DC things left on it. I mean, some people do look at it, obviously, but DC and Marvel can just turn out, turn out something like Death of Wolverine or Convergence, and people just swarm to it. They, they just swarm it. Now, all they've done is killed off a character, but they've, but here they're starting a new interesting character, a, a plot line I've never seen before. You know, obviously, predestination paradoxes happen in comics and science fiction, but this one has an interesting moral ramification. It, you know, by following the rules, is she ruining the future? Can you tolerate some small corruption? So, some, some small, kind of insignificant corruption on behalf of this corporation, if it means that everyone gets to have this crazy future where there's flying cars and all this. She, she's not necessarily in the right, you know. Oftentimes we have the assumption of the morality of the protagonist. The protagonist is the good guy, but what if it's a story about how you're not the good guy? Maybe I'm reading too much into it. They haven't, you know, revealed all their cards yet, but it, it's worth a look. Please have a look at it. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, and check out my other projects. Thank you.